They were fooling around. One boy pushed another into a woman standing too close to the tracks, and she fell in. Did he push the other guy with the intention to bang into the lady? I guess that's about it. Yeah. Why? Why would you do that? Why I don't your know. Friends do that? Pretty much they were just doing that for fun. That's it. But he did, they didn't know something was going to happen like this. If they knew, they would have stopped a long time ago. He says his friends didn't plan to push anyone, but he says it's not the first time they've pulled the stunt. How many times have they done it? Since? A couple of times. I don't know how many times, but a couple of times. The police department will not tolerate this, this kind of behavior. Three boys, all under 18, have been arrested and charged. Four more, also involved in the so-called game, will also face assault and conspiracy charges. It's not something to laugh about. It's definitely something that is not going to be tolerated. And as you know, with the, uh, the charges that were laid against these seven young men, they're very serious charges. So we don't think this very lightly. And to keep this from ever happening again, Metro drivers say barriers should be considered. And to, to do that now would cost uh, close to a billion dollars. So we certainly don't have the, the money to do so. And uh, it's not even certain it would be feasible because the stations were in complete for that from the start. Whether it was intentional or whether it was child's play remains to be seen. The kids will be back in juvenile court on Monday. Either way, it'll be a long weekend for them in prison. Jennifer Coy on CFCF News. The idea has been floating around for years, but now there are some concrete plans to provide travelers better access to Trudeau Airport. Annie DeMelt has the details. It's not a place most consider easily accessible. With little public transit and the traffic nightmare known as the Dorval Circle, just reaching Trudeau Airport requires careful planning. It's crazy. No nonsense. These politicians say it's time to change that. They've come up with a concept to improve access, starting with a high-speed train that would connect Trudeau Airport to the downtown core. That'll be running every 20 minutes from the terminal to downtown Montreal and will carry not only air travelers, but also uh, commuters to the downtown core. That means the airport would get a new train station through which via rail trains would also travel. The plan also calls for road work to bypass the Dorval Circle. Canada's transport minister says the situation is pressing. We know that we're going to be adding a million more passengers as of November 1st because of the air transat and sky service moving here. So the pressure is going to be even even bigger. It's estimated the changes would cost about $200 million, but none of the three levels of government have committed any funds yet. Although many here like the project, some remain skeptical. If it comes, it's going to be all right, but I'm not going to see it. Why it's going to take too long. Before anyone commits money to the project, they want to know exactly how much it will cost. Consultations are set to begin by the end of the year. If all goes as planned, work would begin in 2006 and service would start in 2008. Annie DeMelt, CSBF News. The cost to extend the metro system into Laval is on the rise again. A report suggests the price could reach an estimated $803 million. As Stéphane Giroux reports, some say it's just not worth it. When the Quebec government first broke ground for the Laval Metro in 2002, the estimated cost had already mushroomed from $179 to $345 million. No one seemed to care back then. Easier normally to count kilometers than dollars. It was a major understatement. Less than a month later, the project cost was set at $553 million and mounting. With a realistic schedule, taking into account additional changes that were made after that date, the cost would probably have been around $750 million. Its total cost has now soared to $803 million. But despite all the warnings from the experts, nobody had the ANC or the Minister of Transport noticed there was anything wrong with what they budgeted for the Laval Metro. The experts hired to investigate the soaring costs say the project was rushed for political reasons, and the Montreal Transport Agency botched its homework. When you start a project, actually, without having a valid budget and a valid, valid scheduling, well, you don't give yourself the necessary tool to control the uh, realization of the project. And this is actually what has happened in this project. 
Back then, the transport minister was Serge Ménard, now a federal bloc MP. As long as I was there, the costs were done according to budget, he now claims. Not so, says his liberal successor, Yvon Marcoux. Ménard knew the price was going up, but he didn't do anything, he says. So what will we get for $803 million? Only 3,500 new users a day, says lobby group Transport 2000. Not nearly enough to justify all this money.